how are you doing? Long time no see. This is Indigo, and this is Indigo's Living Her Best Life. Hope you guys are doing well. Yes, I hope you guys had a great Valentine's Day. Sorry it's been so long, but I'm about to give you an update video and tell you what's going on. So for those of you guys who don't know, we decided not to move all the way up to Pennsylvania. We decided to stay here in Virginia. However, I'm going to let my North Carolina and my Virginia jobs go, and I'm going to sit at home with Peanut. Yes, y'all, I'm so excited. I'm going to get to be a stay-at-home mom for a little bit. I'm going to take a little bit of a breather. I am looking for a stay-at-home, work-from-home job. But if I don't find it right now, that's okay. Sydney's going to carry us for a little bit so that I can get my mental and my physical health back together and go for round two, hopefully, uh, so that Peanut would have a sibling. But I definitely have to calm down and, you know, relax a little bit and definitely uh, get myself together. So, y'all, what's been going on with Peanut's eight months old, as you know, and he is rolling and crawling and trying to stand up. And y'all, for some reason, he's been teething since he's been three months old, and he still has not cut teeth. Now, you can see the two little bottle buds down there, but they still have not cut, and he is just like, oh my goodness. And some of the pictures that I show you, these were actually taken Monday on Valentine's Day. So, on some of the pictures that you see, you'll see him smiling. He's a big he has an infectious smile, y'all. Love his smile, but you'll see the two little buds down there. But no teeth yet, and I know the little peanut is miserable, but he is handling it like a trooper, y'all. So, yes, he is doing so well. He's had all his flu shots. He's had all his shots. He does go to his heart doctor appointment on the 22nd of this month, and I will give you an update about that as we go through. So, yes. So, we did find a home here. In the Richmond area to rent. Um, we've actually already rented it, even though I have a free unit here. So I am currently still staying in the free unit while I'm getting the new home together. So we've moved all the big stuff over to the new house and getting that set up now. And y'all, I know it's a rental, but we had to add fencing for the dog. So they're out there today, actually, because it's a beautiful day, putting fencing up. And we had a back patio that we added a, made it a porch, um, you know, like got it screened in so that the dogs and Peanut can play out there when the days are nice. I just wanted to give him a safe play environment. So yes, we did invest a little bit of money into a rental, but I feel like it was the safest investment for us and the family. So that's what we decided to do. So yeah, so we're renting a what? It's classified as a four bedroom, two bathroom, but it's really a three-bedroom in the office, so, you know, we'll go like that. But, yeah, it's nice square footage. And I plan on staying in this home until we decide where we want to go and buy. So, this will be my last rental ever. Do not want to rent it again. Um, by 2024 is my goal to buy a home. So, I'm looking at staying in this one all of 22 and all of 23. And by the time Peanut is three years old... Hopefully, we are in our forever home, or at least forever for the next five to ten years, but we will see how that pans out. So, y'all, if you remember me talking a couple videos ago about having the gastric sleeve done, insurance has denied me three times, y'all. Even though I have high blood pressure, even though I have diabetes, even though there's other underlying conditions, weight issues, they have denied me three times. Now, I know people who get approvals, bam, 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 and get approved. It did not happen for me. So, I'm actually going to Blossom Bariatrics in Vegas in March, y'all, to get my sleeve done. They have an amazing cash price. And it seems like I'm always doing a cash price for something. For Pina, I had to do the cash price because insurance didn't want to pay anything. Um, for this, I'm having to do the cash price because insurance doesn't want to pay anything. I really feel like insurance is a ripoff. I mean, I'm, I'm just getting to the point where you pay eight nine thousand dollars i just did our taxes and looked at the amount that we paid for insurance this year and they covered nothing between what we paid out of pocket for the insurance and what we're paying out of pocket for things that it did not cover i'm trying to wonder why we have to have insurance because it does not cover anything for what we pay for the year but that is a whole nother video i'm just letting you guys know um i don't know if any of you watch porn stars not porn stars <laughs> Pawn Stars on the History Channel, I think it is on. Um, if you know, if you know Chum Lee, that's on there. This is actually the clinic that he went to. They have amazing reviews. They have amazing outcomes, and it's a 
four-day procedure, y'all. So instead of having to wait months, 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 months with your doctor, they do everything with you originally over the phone. The first day you get there is blood work. The second day you get there is stress test. The third day you get there is your procedure, which is laparoscopic. The fifth day you get there, you get your leads taken out, and you go home the fifth day. So literally, it is a five-day process, and I'll be up and running and back to work the following week. So... This is the option that we chose to win, but I won't be going back to work. So that's a good thing. That was another reason that I decided um, that I'm going to stop working so that I can get my health together. So I will be getting the gastric sleeve done. I will be doing it at Blas Blossom Bariatrics. And no, this is not paid by Blossom Bariatrics. You probably don't even know I'm doing this video about them, but I did ask them if I could film the process. They said I could. So you guys will be seeing day one, day two, day three, day four, day five of the process to see exactly what I'm going to go through. And what I like about the program, they literally have a limousine that picks you up went from the airport, limousine that takes you all to your doctor's appointments. They pay for your hotel stay. All this is included in a one-time inclusive fee. Now, everybody's fee is different. My fee just happened to be what was my fee? $9,995. That's exactly what my fee was. Some people have paid as much as $16,000. Some people have paid. But it just depends on your weight, how severe the procedure is going to be, other things, and if your insurance will play for blood work. Fortunately, my insurance is paying for blood work. So my goal is, as you guys know, is to do part two, another um, ED IVF in September so that the babies are um two years apart that is what my goal is so if i have this done in march go april may june july august september i am six months out from surgery and it should be in a kind of a safe place to do it again as far as calories go as far as being able to absorb things in my body they normally want you to wait a year <clears throat> before you do um another ivf after having some type of weight loss surgery and all this is contingent on how I feel. So my window for doing IVF again will be sometime between September and February, depending on how well I do with the sleeve and how well my body is adjusting to it and if I can make that next step. So yes, y'all, I am having the sleeve done. I'm having the sleeve done at Blossom Bariatrics. And I definitely will give you a flow by flow because y'all, that's literally a month away, just a month. That's how far out they were scheduling. Actually, when I called the schedule two weeks ago, they were already into March. That's how booked up they are. But if you look at the reviews, if you look at everything online, they seem to be a pretty safe bet. So, y'all, I am scared, but I'm happy at the same time because I'm finally going to get my health together. And you, you guys know that was a big concern even before I had Peanut. But I have to look at the big picture. I am 48 years old. I do have an eight-month-old son. And I have to make sure that I'm around for him and going the direction I'm going right now, I could stroke, I could have a heart attack, I could do a lot of things, even though I do not eat a lot of sweets, y'all. You would think I would, my A1C is actually really good. I'm just somebody that carries the extra weight that just happens to be my genetics, and then I have PCOS, and if you know anybody with PCOS, they carry their weight in their middle, in their stomach. So, not too, you know, not too pretty of a thing, but I do carry that beer looking gut situation and like that hang time, that pooch stomach. But what I am going to do when I do my Blossom Berry actions, I will be taking some before pictures of how I look, everything, side, front, back, everything. And then as the months go, I'm going to take the same pictures so you can see how my transition and how my progress is going. So I'm going to keep you guys along for every step of the way because I do know there's a lot of people that wanted to lose some weight before they did their IVF procedures, before they did their embryo donation procedures. And I'm just letting you know if you're waiting for the insurance to pay and you're going out for that, um, you know, waiting that year or waiting that however long that it takes them to approve you. And it looks like they're not going to approve you. This is another option. And that's exactly what I had to do with Peanut, I had to look for another option. So me, I'm one that's always going to search. I'm always going to Google. I'm always going to look for the next best thing to get to my end game. And yes, ladies, I got to my end game last time with Peanut. Yes, it had cost me some money, but it wasn't a lot of money. And as you know, sleeve procedures run upwards of twenty plus thousand dollars, and to get the whole procedure plus hotel and everything included for ten thousand was a steal. So yet again, house buying money <laughs> like last time. You know, other monies that we had saved up went to peanut. This money we get again saved up is going to better my health, but it's all for good reasons. I am super excited about this. Um, I, if you guys have any questions, please 
put them down in the comments. I will answer any questions that you have. Um, but yeah, I'm excited for this next chapter. Let's see how it all goes. And y'all, y'all have an amazing, amazing, amazing rest of your day. Bye.